So, first and foremost, what we need to do is we need to look at a lineup. My controller turned off. That would be what happens. All right. So here's the problem. I want to kill Dragonov. Kill, defeat, I want a five-star Dragonov, which is tough. Because he does wind and water. Uh, let's see. Wander, Arcadium's looking for D&D players for 2021. If you're interested, throw your name in the pile. Somebody had tweeted about it. I might look into it. I will admit I'm also starting my own campaign. I freaking hope. Uh, which always puts a little bit of a, a dampener on things because it's just like, well, I could join somebody else's campaign. Maybe. I don't know. I'll I'll look into it if I remember after stream. Bug me on, on Discord. I Part of it is I've always had this perception... That, you know, I'm. It's not that I'm. I'm not good enough. Oh yeah, go figure. Montes is getting wrecked. He's weak to water. Okay, so let's take the equipment off Montes. He's no. He's no good. And probably Shamu is no good. Because I think the problem with Shamu is, yeah, he's weak to wind. So that also makes him just as as weak. Let's see. Montes is resistant, or Montes. Orb is resistant to magic, weak to physical. That's a little tough. Rad Duder could be okay. So, baseline, we got to get Montes out because I don't think he's good enough. Let's let's go back to the farm for a second and see see what I can get. Okay, first and foremost, I guess the easiest option is grab him. And him. Because not only do we have to kick this thing's ass, but we have to five-star it, which is frustratingly difficult. We have to do physical damage, too, which makes this harder. Take a look let's take a look at some of these guys so one thing to take a look at is there is puff but puff is weak to physical so i feel like going with puff or my draco gran would be a terrible idea owie isn't terrible he doesn't do a whole lot of damage but he's not terrible either just because he's not going to take too much damage from them bjork wouldn't be terrible he's resistant to He's resistant to wind, has bleed, does a lot of damage, and is great at self-buffing, and has, like, a little bit of healing. Oh, right. What was in his final tier? He's got Recuperate, which I remember is great. Hybrid Mastery. So there are, there are a couple of things that are kind of worthwhile on, on Bork. Let's see. Does have deep wounds. Oh, does have feast. Indu poison. Resistant to fire, which isn't that great, but isn't that terrible. Also has congeal. Okay, so maybe the Lizelfos is actually... Yeah, let's, let's drag the Lizelfos onto the team. Okay, skills. If I take a look at Grayson, Grayson's got bleed bleed stacks. The only immediate problem is this team's not going to have a whole lot of healing. I don't, I don't know if I have a, a bleed healer. The other option is we go with Penguin. Because Penguin's got some rad debuffs. No bleed, but that doesn't necessarily... Oh, and Pengen is resistant to both damage types that they'd be chucking out. 
Penguin and horse are my best two options, I think. So, horse does not have multi-debuff, but horse does have disease control. And hex. I think I think I want to roll penguin just because. The only problem is we might want to consider respecking penguin. I don't know. Let's just uh, let's just switch penguin in and and see if he can do it. So we're gonna do penguin, Lazelfos, and Grayson, and hopefully this will give us our edge against the dragon. Okay, so what do we got? Enlighten. Whenever it receives a buff, shares a buff with an allied monster, or applies additional stacks of any debuff. I'm going to go for the uh, debuff mastery. Because that could be amazing. Okay, and... I went out of my way to get a bunch of level badges, so I can just continuously add more and more people to my lineup. Uh, let's see, okay, so Liz Elfos. No matter what, we want, we want Congeal, and we want Chilling Cold. The one problem is, I don't think we actually want to do water damage here, because that's what the dragons are weak to. Or resistant to? Resistant to. At the start of combat, apply shield equal to 75% of this monster's defense value to the whole party. That's not much, but it might not be a bad idea to just put a couple points down into this one. Just for preemptive shield. Okay, so next up, he's got bleed. It's all enemies. No, no, no. Let's, let's go for fiery stabs. Because we're not actually going to be hitting that many. Whenever, when applying chill or burn... Well, the target already has the other debuff. Okay, that's good. But yeah, this guy's got Feast. If this, both this guy and the Bat have Feast, that means the Bleed heals are going to be that much higher. Let's see, Burning Heat. Grab that. We might as well grab defense focus, and then both of the defense procs. Okay, he also does poison. Reptiles in the party have a chance to apply poison? Yeah. Doesn't do multi-poison, though. Grab some of these. Do we go for antitoxins? Oh, shoot. I screwed him up. Uh, let's try that again. It'd be kind of nice if there was, like, a confirm your skill allocation, but whatever. Alas. Okay, so we want to grab defense focus. We want to grab those three at least. We might want buffing shield as well. I'll think about it. So I want to grab those. Grab deep wounds. Grab feast. Whenever applying a debuff, chance to gain a random buff. Yes. Crits. I might skip Burning Heat. I'll think about that one. And I'll think about Antipode. But now what I want to grab is Toxic Slam. There's also Blessed Strikes. I think I want to grab Cooling and Kindle. Because that way, every attack is affected by it. Grab Exploit. Chilling Cold. But I didn't need Chilling Cold. It's a trap, because I'm not actually... Uh, well, I got a hundred of these. I'm going to keep... I'm just going to keep wailing at it until Lizalfos is correct. Okay, so we want to grab Congeal. 
and double impacts. And critical exploit. Okay, then we go down here, grab these. Grab Kindle, that, and exploit. Okay, buffs are more effective on this guy. Mystify for random buffs. He's already got exploit, so he should be able to buff the heck out of himself. Just by existing. Okay, extra hits. That. And if you're wondering why I'm so particular... It's because this needs to be perfect, otherwise we run into problems. Uh, yeah, I'll give him Acid Spit. Not sure about... Variety. So the one other question is, where's Snackins in this process? Because Snekins, Snekins has severe upkeep and poison nerves. Oh, but is weak to water. So that would actually make Snekins kind of rough. There's a nice combo here, though. Uh, between between Snekins and Lizalfos. That I'm kind of sleeping on. I don't think I'd use them, but it, or, I don't think I'd use it yet. But if I could get one reptile that does multi-poison and multi-burn, or both... Uh, and, and or both, we'd be really in the money. Okay. But alas. I should look into that at some point and see if I have any other cool reptiles that I could stack. Okay, so let's go, let's go for the crit chance. Let's see. Reduce damage taken by 2% for every debuff. When applying a buff, also apply a shield. Because I don't think I don't think I'm gonna have the mana to to do stuff like fiery stabs. Uh, let's see. So. Well, here's the thing. Heroic defense does not actually increase defense value. Maybe I just buff this guy's defense. Is there literally only one trait that I can do to buff his defense up? I... yes. Okay, so let's do defense plus, and then I'm just going to give him antitoxins. Okay. Then a... Team... Lozalfos here. Okay. Equipment on Lozalfos. So he needs defense and crit chance. We probably want to get him the guitar. Let's see. There should be some that give defense and crit chance. So I thought there were. The medallion's not a bad idea. Okay, Roach gives defense and a little bit of crit chance. Pandora's box gives him two buffs at the beginning of combat. Hmm. Maybe this isn't going to work as much as I wanted. Because that's crit damage, and I'd like to get it to crit chance. Because the more he crits, the more mana I get. Oh, there was one more shield in the first tree? Eh, okay. It's just the shell that increases raw defense, which, like, is good. Oh, shit. The one problem with Lizalfos is he has 
crazy low HP. Which I think is supposed to be offset by the fact that his defense should be super high. Shield stuff for 90 when receiving a buff. Like, that'd be okay. Gauntlet. Defense and crit chance. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, crit chance is pretty good. Is there one more shield in the first tree? No? Oh, this one. You mean the second tree. You're right, there was another one. I still think antitoxin is probably more viable for him. Okay, now do we redo Pengen? Because Pengen is a little bit more offensively focused. Honestly, I don't think so. The only one I consider is like disease control, maybe. Okay. So what is Pengen based around? Because I don't think Pengen's much of a critter. Okay, the answer is mana. Mana and really kind of whatever the heck else I, I want to give him. Oh, what are its uh what are its attacks? Are they all spells? Magic damage, magic damage, magic damage, and magic. Okay. Go for staff, but I probably want to go maybe wand. Orb? Maybe orb just for the mana regen. A little bit of defense, a lot of magic, sure. Yeah, the mana, mana ring is 100% worth it. Let's see, do we have anything else that gives large amounts of mana? Oh. Maybe the ocarina. for the ocarina it's increase healing increasing healing skills might not be a bad move what else do we have I'm just flipping through because there's a lot of uniques that I I've barely even considered this is probably fine okay stats are good Let's go back. I want to take out that gosh darn Dragonov. Cuz it's going to bother me if I don't if I don't take it out. Cuz the thing is I know there is a combo that can beat him. There's got to be. There's no way there isn't. Main problem is I just don't know it yet. I haven't done it yet. And so I'm just going to be obsessing over it until we're done. The only problem is the fact that this guy's stuff is all still plus 3. It's a little tough. Oh well. Draco Zool. Let's try this combo. We're heavily resistant to his damage, so it be should be easier. Oh, the only problem with Pengen is he is resistant to The Draco Zool is specifically resistant to the damage that Pengen does. But that's not why I picked Pengen. Okay. We specifically just want to freeze him. Okay. I'm thinking... Toxic stabs on him. That's a hell of a lot of debuffs. And do we go for Cyclone? Air Sickle? Or just go for the Bite? If I go for the air sickle, this guy probably dies. This is more important than we wipe out. 
wipe them out if I can. Let's do restore on him. Hit that one. Probably go for the bite. Because they didn't hit the right guy. Alright, so that didn't work. He apparently does enough damage that we're no good. Alright, so I think the biggest issue is Penguin. Not enough. We possibly need a shielder. Let's check the... Let's check Horse for a second. Because Horse is a debuffer. Has hella heals. Does do spell shield and barrier. Maybe Sneckens? Nah. He'd one shot Sneckens, because Sneckens is specifically weak to the damage that he puts out. The other reason why the horse is good is the horse does physical damage. At least to some degree. Only problem is. Low chance of chill and no multi chill. Oh, but cleanse. Okay, so let's let's give horse a shot. Because being able to cleanse those buffs off of him seems like it would be amazing. Okay, whenever an allied monster applies a debuff, gains. Nah, honestly, maybe we give maybe we give horse the uh, the gray pearl. Okay, let's let's actually take a look at horse's skills here. Cause Horse does not have any immediate stack gains, does have hex hexing support. Has heroic party. I think it also has heroic defense and disease control. Oh, but those are not auras. Okay, so here's the question. Yeah, the one the one issue is neither of these are going to be particularly good. Like we're just gonna want to use tackle to hit the dragon off. We want to grab hex. Maybe I should have gone for blessed strikes. I don't know. Okay, preparation, hybrid mastery. We might as well grab double impact, disease control. Combo Initiator. Let's see, Heroic Party. Heroic Defense. So I gotta get down to Cleanse. But what would I use? Go for the Shock, go for the Chill. Probably go for the Chill. I think I need Flash Freeze as much. Okay. Grab hexing support. Heroism bolster. I could go for healing wave. But honestly, if we've got combo healing and power healing, let's just go pure... Pure big heals. Yeah, this guy absolutely is a hybrid. Okay. I think with the last two... Let's go for magic proc and attack proc. I think that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. Okay, horse. Horse gets the moon sword, which massively just beefs it out. Let's see. 
What do we got? We got the bracer, which is pretty dang good. Oh, but we should give it we should give it the drum. And the ocarina. Oh. No, I should I should give it some uh some mana regen. Anything up here? Because there's the sustain ring, but the sustain ring is super boring. See, bracelet? Yeah, just for the extra survivability? Sure. The other issue was Grayson got wrecked. Maybe we'll be okay with this. I don't know. Let's try it again. We'll figure it out. Let's see. Anything add that adds massive physical damage? Kind of. I Lizalfos and Grayson do. I. I storm. Toxic stabs. Let's go for a cyclone. This is more important to spread it, I think. Shit, that's a lot of buffs. Man, what the hell? <laughs> Just immediately one shots me. Ugh. I don't want to not have Lizelfos. I I think really I need to take out one of those. I have to take out one of those two Dragonovs, like no matter what. Okay. Let's do... Go for that, because that applied the bleed and the burn. Let's see how this goes. Well, it didn't kill the unicorn. That's usually a good sign. Okay, let's do fiery stabs on this guy. Let's do another cyclone. Okay, that gets rid of the front one. I just... It's so much damage. Okay. Shamu instead of Grayson. Shamu's still got all of his stuff. Yeah? Okay. Let's get rid of Grayson's equipment. Because I don't I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, has a fang. What about the fin? It's kind of worse. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Pandora's box in favor of a fin on this guy. Gives him a lot of HP and a lot more crit chance. Let's try this again, again, again. Your own dragon use their own tactics against them? Nah. My dragon is weak to dragons. Okay, resist neutral. I gotta do that for the chill debuffs, much to my general chagrin. Okay.
And it's gone. Okay, there's one. That's just bad RNG. So the problem is champion monsters get to act twice, and he does just so much more damage than any other critter. Which puts me in just such a rough position, because it means if he wants to, he generally can just one-shot anyone. So the problem with like bringing out Dracogran, for example, and using a dragon against them, Dracogran is weak to... Physical damage. Heavily so. And so, he would just two-shot Dracogran here. And I wouldn't be able to do much about it. Because, yeah, a lot of the guys that I would use just aren't going to work. I mean, has Splatter for the Bleed crossover. But isn't really resistant. It does do Multi-Might. Has Charge. But very much okay. It's like, it doesn't necessarily fit into the team combo particularly well. But it's an option all the same. It does decent bleed. I think the unicorn was the right, right maneuver. What else do I have? No. It can't it can't be Snapple. 